you talk about, um, everyone always talks about failing. And you yes. talk about you know, being scared of failing to who? And I, and I love that. I think because I think, that really gets the essence of it. Yeah, that, that's and been. And hairdressers have a lot of fear that, when they're cutting a, and getting into the job. That was a big one. I'm in a funny place where I'm just not scared. I'm just not worried about, you know, it's, I have this weird, I could care less what anybody thinks and I genuinely care what everybody thinks. You know, it's the kind of this really yin and yang. And so I just realized that so many of you are scared to fail because your dad's gonna make you feel bad about it. And I'm, I have empathy for that, that sucks. Like, or, or, your, or your husband is gonna say, I told you so. I'm very fascinated by negative energy within our ecosystem that is not cut outable. You can get rid of your acquaintance that's a dick face, right? <laughs> but when your mom's the dick face, you're in trouble. Yeah. And, and so I've been trying to have this conversation of who are you scared to fail in front of? And I gotta tell you, in one-on-ones or meetups where the content has come from, people, people are scared. Like, you know, you look up to your older sister who's straight-lined and got the, like, and her opinion matters to you. But you're an artist and you wanna do this. And if you fail, you don't want to fail in front of her. That's tough, that's stopping a lot of us. I don't have the answer to what you have to do about it other than I do believe that communication solves all things, but great. How do I push you to have that real talk with your mom? Hard. So, yeah man, it's, it's a real one, yeah. but it's not so easy to unwind. Who's-